Thanks for joining us. Bill is off tonight. Tonight, turning tragedy into the gift of life after that deadly crash over the weekend killed four siblings, Daniel, Fabian, Lillian, and Daniela Gonzalez. One of them today became a hero by donating life. Action 2 News with team coverage once again. We begin with Jason Zimmerman, who was there for today's Heroes Walk in Nina. He joins us live to explain how Daniel Gonzalez is helping others across the country. Jason. Cammy, that hero's walk took place at the hospital this afternoon, and the family tells me as bad as this tragedy was, there is one bright spot in knowing that 25-year-old Daniel's organs will potentially save some lives. After days of being on life support declared legally dead, 25-year-old Daniel Gonzalez left his hospital room on a journey to donate all of his organs to more than 100 people across the country. His mother, Paulina, who only speaks Spanish, says it's what her son would have wanted. Que Daniel eh, haga su, ese regalo para tanta gente que necesita, ya que él eh, está, ya que alguien le... I decided to um, make it so that Daniel could give these gifts, um, even though somebody else ended his life. I quiero y yo sé que Daniel va a encender muchas luces, mucha esperanza en algunas en algunas personas, más de 100 personas. And although they turned off Daniel's light, we know that Daniel is going to be used to turn on the light of many other people. As Daniel left the hospital, a hero's walk was held with family and friends, plus medical staff lining the hall. <laughs> applauding his donation as he left the building to board a helicopter, heading to Madison where the organs will be retrieved. I know it's almost Christmas and many people across the country have really been grieving for our families as we are grieving, but we're not even close to losing hope. Uh, the Christmas message is about the love of God and him coming to the world to care for people hurting, lost, struggling, and suffering, and just to show his great love for all of us. Family says Daniel was a talented musician who played in a band and was a master of wind instruments. We're incredibly thankful that my nephew Daniel will live on in his gifts that he's going to be giving to other people. And although they turned off Daniel's light, we know that Daniel is going to be used to turn on the light of many other people. As we reported yesterday, a cousin of Daniel who lives in the Baltimore area was set to receive his cornea. Today we're told that might not actually happen because there are some issues in finding the right doctor to perform that procedure. We will continue to keep you posted. Reporting live in Nina, Jason Zimmerman, Action 2 News. Jason, thank you. Officials say more than 100,000 people across the U.S. are waiting for organ transplants, including 1,400 people from Wisconsin. Anyone over the age of 15 in the Badger State with a proper ID can register to be a donor, legally authorizing the gift of their organs, tissues, and eyes upon their death. You can sign up when you renew your driver's license or at the Wisconsin Donor Registry website. We do have a link at WBAY.com links.